Hello YouTube, Mewtwo here again with another gameplay video. And this time I'm playing Road Rash 2 on the Sega Mega Drive. I decided to treat myself and give me another 8 bits of power. Oh yes, now I'm playing with power. No oh, wait, now I'm playing with blast processing. Anyway, I used to love Road Rash 2 back in the day, but I was awful at it. So... Oh, jeez, I'm already playing the game. Cranky. Um, apparently the game just can't wait to be played. That's a good sign. Yeah. Now this is it. I used to absolutely love this game. As I said, generally... Oh, good lord, he gave me a good kick. You tend to like games that you're, you're somewhat good at, or genres you're good at. Now, I was never particularly great at Road Rash, by any means. By God, is it is it an enjoyable game? <laughs> Even if you you kind of get busted or you crash, it's just the little things like punching someone in the face, yeah, or stealing their chain. I remember as well, <laughs> myself and my younger sister at the time we used to love playing it in two player, and we'd end up just doing stupid stuff like um, ah, oh, there we go, brilliant, kick someone off the bike. Viper. Uh, we, we'd end up doing things like getting knocked off our bikes intentionally to see who could run to the finish line d the fastest and avoid the cop because he'd be on your tail the whole time then. Oh my, nice, stole a chain. Uh, I'm doing pretty okay. Da -da. Great music, great graphics. It's, it's just a great game. And even if you only play the first level, which is actually often what I, what I end up playing is just the first level or two, and then, and then just going, well, well, I'm not going to go any much further, so I may as well quit while I'm ahead. It's it's so much fun to just pick up and play for five, ten minutes, and it's 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 kind of like exemplifies the, the what's great about retro gaming. You don't have to sit down for an hour and read a massive manual and you know there, there's not huge gaps between save spots and you just pop it in play for a few minutes and be done with it i oh i found as well when when you're young you have lots of time to play games and no money so you end up playing the same game over and over and over and you get a bit older and you start to get a bit of disposable income. But you're working all the time, so you've got no time to play. So ironically you... Oh, here's the cops. Just as I go into first. I can see myself getting busted here, actually. Yeah. PE1. Oh. Bugger. Oh. Can I get on his bike? Oh. oh my god, that was a disaster. <sighs> I went from first to fifth. I don't know where the cop went, but it's probably... Oh, there he is. I think he's dead. I used to kept my chain. First to sixth. Oh, and I'm near the end of the race. That's disappointing. I was actually doing quite well on everything. Buffy. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I didn't realise she was into road rashing. Although now that you think of it, I mean, I could see her doing that. Breaking out the letters, you know. Hop on a bike. Do a few illegal street races. Kill a few vampires. Eh. Later. Oh, 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 no. Turd. Oh, not too bad, given that disaster. <laughs> Let's see. What do I guess? Bike? Oh, that's okay. Sometimes, you know, if you do pretty bad, your bike falls apart and stuff like that. I seem to remember the bike falling apart, so I must have... I must have done bad, generally. <laughs> uh, 500 quid. Let's see. We'll go again. It was good fun. Why? Ralph? Ralph Wiggle? 
My cat's breath smells like cat food. Oh, Ralph. Yeah, steal a club. I'm doing quite well at stealing the weapons today. Oh, she's not doing too well using them. That's a fairly funky tune, actually. I was wondering where the music was going, but it kind of kicked up a gear there. I hate it in games when when the CPU performance you that they kinda of wiggle right in front of you home in on you as it were to to just block and Oh I suppose it's okay in certain games and it's not that bad in this because it is I mean there's nothing to violence in it, but some racing games just use it as such a cheap way to boost artificial intelligence. I mean, particularly in straight up racing games you're going to follow a racing line or you're going to make a maneuver to block an opponent you're not going to wiggle all over the racetrack as they're moving oh oh crap damn you buffy i'm blaming buffy i don't know what that's on the side of the road it looks like a cone or something okay sixth it's a windier track and there's a Traffic's a little heavier, which does make it a bit of a difference on it. Now, only recently, actually, I, I I got a pickup of the Sega Master System version of this, and well, actually, it was the Sega Master System version of Road Rush One. Road Rush Two was never ported to the Master System. Uh, it was a shockingly good port. I didn't think that this type of game would would translate at all. And um, there's so much, you know, going on in terms of you know the undulating landscape, the multiple bad guys, the weapons, different bikes and speeds. But oh, jeepers, and the different traffic. But it it it's totally worth checking out. It's I, I I'm gonna probably do a gameplay at some point for, for two, as a comparison. Oh no! Oh, disaster! I'm so busted. <laughs> oh god! It wasn't me. It was the moose in the road. I was I was driving legally. Yeah, yeah. Turn to the guys down the station. Sucker. You are moving very fast, and that's not safe. You should try deep breathing. So, if I deep breathe, can I move very fast? Okay, okay. One more go. Let's see if we can we can finish this one. Doom, 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 doom. Slug, what a name, Jesus. <sighs> I didn't manage to get there about that time. Rude boy. Oh, the names are great for the bad guys in this. They make you want to punch them. I mean, you just want to punch Slug Boy in the face. No, it wasn't Slug Boy, it was Rude Boy. Slug and Rude Boy. Slug Boy. Presumably, that's, why, that, that's what their kid would be called. Of course, you can go up and soup your bike up and whatnot, but for 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 the purposes of a you know ten minute playthrough or so, it's not really worth it. Yeah, go on, Viper. I dare you? I seem to not have a problem to get kind of to the midway placings, and it's usually then when you start to kind of push towards the front of the field that things start to go a little hairy. Oh, whoa, whoa. I remember when we were younger as well, I used to always, you know, I'd do better than my sister because, uh, and I had a more experience and I played games more. But when we play this game now, she just kicks my ass. It's embarrassing.
Don't believe me. Oh, good lord. Now I'm not lost on any P1. Yeah, I got you. Gotcha, bastard. Oh, he's got a chain. Oh! Holy schmoly. I thought I was going to crash again at the same spot as last time. Um, it's getting quite tricky. I'm also I'm using a PlayStation 2 style controller, so it's, the button layout isn't really ideal for Mega Drive games. It's not bad, it does the job. There we go, that's better. I don't know how long this race is. Oh, oh. Hopefully I'll be finished it before I run out of time on YouTube. Whee! I was having a bit of an E.T. moment there. Sorry if I've gone a bit quiet, but I, I'm just concentrating, hoping to... Yep, there we go. Yay. Hoping to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that, P1. I'm the best. Anyway, I think it goes without saying that that's a definite buy it. If you have a Mega Drive at all, you should... Nice race, punk, but you still suck. And that's why I beat you up in every race. P1. Anyway, as I was saying, absolutely great game. If you have a Mega Drive, you just have got to own it. No questions asked.